I'm Coyote Peterson, and you're never gonna believe the encounter I just had with the fastest lizard in the West. The eyes bite me! Ah! Ow, he's got a hold of my finger. As we begin our journey into the second season of Breaking Trail, I find myself at home in the desert. The Southwest has always been one of my favorite places to explore. And if you can withstand the intense heat, it is about 108 degrees out here today. Spine covered plant life. Oh my gosh, that thing is really wedged into my hand. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. And the venomous creatures. You might find yourself loving it just as much as me. I find that exploring in a wash or narrow canyon near sunset almost always yields an animal encounter, some of which can really keep you on your toes. Got a snake! Got a snake! Yeah! Check this out! Oh, look at that! Do you know what species that is? That is a coach whip. This is one of the fastest snakes that you're ever going to come across out here in the desert. <sighs> Get this guy on the ground. You have no shot of catching him. I saw him just dart off of that tree branch. Sorry, I couldn't even give you any warning. Just had to lunge for him. Look at that. Look how long and beautiful that snake is. Now, these snakes are feeding on lizards and, uh, you know, any other little rodents that might be running around out here in the desert. Look at how beautiful those eyes are, though. Wow, so perfectly streamlined. That obviously allows them to move incredibly quick. Uh, the reason that they're called coach whips is that you can see the snake pretty much looks like a whip. These snakes are non-venomous, certainly have no interest in going after humans. They're just out here to explore the desert and look for dinner. So cool. All right, well, let's get him back up in his tree so that he can continue hunting. Oh, that was cool to see him climbing up into the trees. All right, let's head up towards the base of this mountain, some big boulders. Let's see what we can find living up there. In my book, any snake encounter has made the day. But when I explore the desert, my mind is fixated on one thing and one thing only. Lizards. And which ones will I try to catch this time? The Sonoran Desert and its expansive, beautifully rugged ecosystems provides a home to many species. Some of which are safe and simple to catch, like the regal horn lizard. And some that you should never try to catch, like the venomous Gila monster. He doesn't want anything to do with us right now. I was just laying low to the sand saying, okay, don't get any closer. I love looking for and trying to catch lizards because they always pose such a challenge. The skill of actually making a capture requires stealth, precision, and a whole lot of luck. All right, look, 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 we got it. That is a collared lizard. You see his little yellow head? Barely, barely see him. All right, I'm gonna leave my snake stick here. Um, come up slow. Try not to startle him. Got him! Ow! 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 The eyes bite me! Ah! Ow! He's got a hold of my finger. I got a hold of him and he's got a hold of me. Look at that. Ah! Jeez. I guess that's one way to catch a collared lizard. I can't even believe you let me get that close. Holy cow. All right. Um, whoa. Those teeth are super sharp. <clears throat> he is locked onto my finger. Ah! Jeez. Didn't see that coming. And as you can see, he kind of said, you're going to catch me? Well, guess what, Coyote? I am also going to catch you. Oh, this is just a totally, totally uncomfortable situation, but I got him and we're gonna get the most beautiful and the fastest lizard in the Southwest up close for you right now. All right, let me get off of this. Okay. What does that feel like? It feels like a bunch of little tiny needles. Oh, <laughs> um, yes. Thank you for letting go. Ouch. All right, now let's try to get a better look at this beautiful, beautiful lizard. Look at him. Now, this is one of the most aggressive species of lizards that we have out here, and certainly not aggressive towards humans. They're aggressive towards the other animals that call the desert home. This is kind of like a little mini T-Rex. As he's roaming the hillsides here, he is looking for anything that's unfortunate enough to get close to those jaws. And I can tell you firsthand that their bite is a serious powerhouse. Now, this is probably the fastest lizard species that we have here in the southwest. In fact, they are so quick that when they're running, their front half will lift off the ground, kind of like a basilisk lizard, and they'll use these back feet to project themselves up in the air, and this long skinny tail kind of works like a rudder to help direct them through the environment. Uh, I would put him down and show you what that looks like, but he is going to take off so incredibly quick we would not be able to catch him again. 
Now look how beautiful the coloration is on this lizard. He's got this bright yellow head, and the reason they're called collared lizards is because you see that double black striped collar on the back of his neck there. The teal skin, the yellow and white speckling, unbelievably beautiful. And you may be saying to yourself, gosh, this lizard looks like it would really stick out in the desert environment. It must be easy for predators to pick this guy off. Actually, because this lizard is so fast, it's almost impossible for predators to catch it. I'd say the only thing that's going to be able to get one of these lizards and turn it into dinner would be a roadrunner or maybe a coach whip. What an awesome experience. Getting close, actually catching, and then getting chomped by the eastern collared lizard. One of the most beautiful and fastest lizards that we have here in the Southwest. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Are right, you ready to get back up on your rock and not bite any more coyotes? I hope so. This was only the second time in my life that I was able to capture a collared lizard. And despite getting bitten, I'd consider this a lucky day. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out this Gila Monster Encounter. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Try to create a barrier between it and its den. All right, let's turn it back towards its den, okay? I'm just gonna go.